as an emerging political party, the Young Progressives Party is optimistic that it can offer better governance to the people of Akwa Ibom State. That was what the governorship candidate of the party, Yeni Me Andi, told journalists after emerging as a flag bearer of the party at the primary held in Uyo, the Akwa Ibom State capital. There is more in this report. It is a full capacity hall as members of the Young Progressives Party went through the accreditation process. 29, 30, 31, 32. With no challenger, a consensus looks likely, but that would be decided by delegates from the 31 local government areas of Akwaibom State. This is to certify that Apostle Andy Inyename Eno, who is resident here in Uyo, has been duly nominated to run for the office of the governor of Akwaibom State in the forthcoming general election in 2023. I know that YPP has come to stay and YPP will take over Akwaibom State. Congratulations for being part and parcel of um, this revolution, this political revolution. And I know that God will direct us very well. So the message is quite clear to all the youth and women and everyone who loves the progress of Akwaibom to embrace the YPP through a credible candidate that is available to be voted for. We have an option. It's no longer between the two failed political parties, APC and PDP. The YPP is on board to bring about the desired change. The Young Progressives Party flag bearer, Nyenime Andi, did not seem bordered by the ruling party at the state and national levels. The mistake of so many candidates is to sit down and just draw up what they will do. At the end, they might do things that does not benefit the people. Well, I'm coming first of all to represent the youths. I'm like an umbrella that will open up for youths to come under. The change that youths have been praying for has finally come. So for the first time, youths, this is now your turn. The YPP candidate will be testing his popularity with candidates of the PDP, APC and other political parties in the governorship election on the 11th of March next year. Joseph Kunde, TVC News, Uyuk.